Bonjour et bienvenue. So, décrire une personne, décrire quelqu'un. Décrire means to describe. It's an orienting verb. So, how to describe a person in French? How to describe somebody in French? In this video, we are going to discuss with number of adjectives along with some expressions in French with examples in French, of course. As without the use of adjective, you can't describe a person's personality either in terms of his or her, his, uh, his or her uh, physical appearance or his or her nature. So in this video, we are going to discuss these points in detail. So as you can see uh, on this board, some adjectives has been written. So I can't write each and everything on this board as the board is relatively too small. So other than these adjectives, I'm going to discuss with you some more adjectives and some expressions and some beautiful expressions how to describe a person whether in terms of uh, his or her physical appearance or his or her nature. So first of all, uh, begin with some adjectives which describe the person's nature. So first is, first adjective is serio. 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 So serio is the person who is uh, serious. As, as you may know, all the adjectives in French must correspond according to the gender and the number of the noun. So if you are referring this adjective to a female, uh, a girl or a woman, then this word changes into serios. Serios. And there is a trick to uh, to learn these adjectives if a masculine adjective ends with EUX. If, if any masculine adjective ends with EUX, so while converting such adjective into the feminine form, what we do? We convert this EUX into EUSC. So for the feminine will be serios. Serios. Suppose if we have to say she is serious about her work. So it will be L is serios. Don son travail. So, elle est sérieuse dans son travail. So, don generally refers to in, but in this expression, with the adjective serio or serios, we can use don. Elle est sérieuse dans son travail. She is serious about her work or she is serious in her work. Suppose for a masculine, if you have to say he is serious in his life, so il est serio dans la vie. Il est serio dans la vie. So this is the first adjective we have covered. Now the exact opposite of the adjective serious. Somebody who is serious, if you can say uh, droll. Droll the person who is funny. Droll. Il est droll. Elle est droll. Since this adjective already ends with E, so in the feminine form, there will be no change. So, uh, in the feminine form, this adjective will remain unchanged. So, il est drôle, elle est drôle, he or she is funny. Now, before moving further to uh, some more adjectives, now I would like to add some, uh, means, I would like to add here a beautiful expression. In this expression, you can add any other adjective to describe a person. Like, so the expression goes avoir, Lair and then the use of any uh, uh, use of, of any adjective. Avoir means the conjugation of avoir and the word lair and the use of an adjective. This whole expression refers to to seem like or to look like. Suppose if uh, uh, somebody's gestures are funny or some uh, somebody seems to be funny. So, um, um, how you can say, il a l'air drôle, il a l'air drôle, il a, uh, means the conjugation of avoir, il a, then l'air, then drôle, he seems to be funny, her gestures are funny. Similarly, you can use the term serious, she seems to be serious, elle a l'air sérieuse or she is looking serious. So again, elle a l'air serious. So you can add number of other adjectives according to your choice with avoir l'air, okay, to describe a person. 
So serio, droll. Now the another beautiful adjective is shallow. Shallow. And this adjective is also ending with EUX, shallow. So the feminine will be shallow rose. Shallow rose. Okay. Shallow rose. This, this adjective is to be derived from the noun shallow. Shallow refers to heat. Now, can you guess what can be the meaning of uh, this adjective? Shallow. Shallow is the person who is highly energetic, who is full of warmth who is like cordial so when you meet that kind of a person he will meet uh, he will meet you with full heart he's uh, he will be quite welcoming so shallow very enthusiastic and energetic so ele shallow or for the feminine ele shallow rose ele shallow rose okay now the opposite of this this adjective is Froa, F -R -O, F -R -O -I -D, froa. So the feminine will be froat, refers to cold. And interestingly, if you use, if you have to use this term to define or to describe a weather, then the expression will be il fe froa. The weather is cold or it is cold. Here we are using the fair verb il fe froa. But when you have to use this term to describe a person's personality, then it has a different meaning altogether. Means, uh, means other than the description of a weather. So, froat. Suppose if somebody is very cold towards a person. So, what does that mean? That means that person is very like, very like distant towards you. He he treats someone very coldly, with quiet indifference. Then there is an expression with froa, etre froa avec or pur quelque. Etre froa avec or pur quelque. With the use of etre and avec and pur, you can use this, uh, this expression referring to treat someone very coldly or to have a cold attitude towards someone. Like, she, she has a cold attitude, a cold uh, behavior towards me. L.A. Fruad Avek Moa. L.A. Fruad Y.E. Because we are referring that adjective to a girl or a woman. L.A. Fruad Avek Moa. She has a cold attitude towards me. And, and interestingly, we are using the term Avek. Though in general, it refers to with. But it's an expression with this adjective like that only so la froad avec moi if you meet that kind of a person who has a cold attitude towards you so your uh, your presence will not bother him or her okay so exactly opposite to the person who is highly energetic shallow or shallow rose so froa or froat now the next is again this adjective ending with EUX. So, so the pronunciation of this adjective will be ERO. ERO. Generally, if any term in French is beginning with this vowel H, H is a semi vowel, H generally is considered as silent. You can see the number of other words as well, like OM, like horloge. Okay, in, in these words also, it is completely silent and it is coming in the beginning. So, a row. So, the feminine will be E-U-S-E, -E, a rose, a rose which means happy. So, ele a row or ele a rose, she, he is happy or she is happy. Happy. You can say he is happy in her life. So, il est heureux de la vie. Okay. Now, the opposite of this happy will be triste. T-R-I-S-T-E. Triste. Or, and it is already ending with E. So, there will be no change in the feminine form. He is sad. So, il est triste. And, and she is sad. Um, elle est triste. You can say she seems to be sad. Means her gestures are showing that she is uh, sad. 
then you can use uh, the expression which I have uh, just told that L R Lair Trist L R Lair Trist L R the conjugation of Ahuar again she has a sad look her gestures are serious okay so Trist now uh, this is Elego 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 as the French word is suggesting it is elegant okay someone very uh, nicely dressed or someone looks or someone like carry himself or herself very beautifully elegantly then you can use this adjective elego and the feminine will be elegant you have to pronounce the consonant which is coming before that e so elegant elegant so elegant elegant now you can say someone is very badly dressed or who has uh, uh, whose dressing sense are so poor you can say mal abie mal abie double l sound is completely omitted there is a rule again in poetics mal abie in the in the feminine if you are using for feminine so mal abie abie you have to add an e but the pronunciation will be till the vowel e only mal abie you have to stretch that e mal abie he or she is badly dressed ile mal abie ele mal abie now the next is etele jean in this we are, are like pronouncing this double n etele jean which means intelligent ile etele jean if we have to say she she is an intelligent girl so etele jean elle est une fille intelligente you have to use this adjective after the noun so some adjective must be used after the noun so etele is one of them so uh, so elle est une fille intelligente so intelligent intelligent now the opposite of intelligent will be stupid stupid so again this is ending with the vowel e so there will be no change in the feminine he is stupid or she is stupid so like that stupid stupid sorry stupid so e so there will be no change in the feminine now again this adjective which is uh, with, uh, which is already ends with e sympathetic 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 in the feminine also sympathetic so sympathetic in english we can say sympathetic or kind one who has a very soft heart sympathetic so il est sympathique elle est sympathique and interestingly which i have written in the bracket you can use the short form of this term as well but strictly in informal terms okay sympa il est sympa elle est sympa strictly in informal it is it is like advised not to be used this term in typical formal conversation okay sympathetic or simple now the somewhat like synonym of this term sympathetic is jaunty jaunty this ends with l so l is completely silent jaunty is like gentle or kind jaunty so to make the feminine form what we have to do we have to make this double l jaunty jaunty again this double l sound doesn't exist Jaunty, il est jaunty, elle, elle est jaunty. Okay. Now the next adjective you can take is uh, cultivé, cultivé. So for the feminine we have to add additional e. So cultivé refers to add as the word is itself is suggesting cultivé is cultured or well mannered. Il est cultivé and elle est cultivé. Okay. Next, you can take if somebody is romantic, romantic, romantic. Il est romantic and elle est romantic. So this is already ends with e. So in the feminine also it will remain unchanged. Okay. Next is acquio, acquio. Double l is coming in the between and it doesn't. The sound of this double l doesn't exist. Acquio, acquio. Which means welcoming or hospitable. The person who is uh, 
who likes the person to to visit his or her house okay so the person who is aquino which we say if if we say ele aquino or ele aquino that means that person will be a good host okay aquino aquino so hospitable and welcoming next you can take is charmo 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 and charmot charmo and charmo which refers to charming so she has an charming look or he has an charming look il a l'air charmo il a l'air charmo he has a charming look or his gestures are very charming his, his face is very charming il a l'air charmo okay and you can use the same for the feminine also charmot now if you have to describe a person in terms of physical appearance now till here we have described the persons uh, like the traits of the nature now move on to some physical appearance if we have to say if somebody is tall or short how we can say so for a tall we have a term grand grand so for the feminine will be grand grand il elle il est grand elle est grande okay so if you are using an e in the end you have to pronounce this d grand okay for the small pati and petit pati and pati in the masculine adjective final consonant is completely omitted in the feminine we have to we have to pronounce the consonant because of the final vowel e so elle est petite il est petit small if you have to say he or she is strong so there is a term for and fort so here we are talking about the muscular strength il est fort and elle est fort okay if we have to talk about somebody is fat il est gros elle est grosse okay in the feminine we have to make double s e elle est grosse fat if we have to say somebody is thin il est mince elle est mince so in this adjective already ends with e so there will be no change in the feminine he is thin or she is thin okay now if you have to say it is somebody is old or young so for young uh, so we are referring to the age or if somebody looks like means looks very young or old so in that sense so if uh, if you have to use the adjective young so uh, so the term will be jeune already ends with e il est jeune elle est jeune okay for the old we have a term vio vio and n for the feminine the spelling changes v a v a il a vio l a v a so he is an old man or this is an old man sitta vio zum sitta vio zum okay now move on to uh, some adjective which describe uh, person hair color or person's uh, eye color suppose so let's take the case of the hair color so other than the adjective of color i am talking about first of all even in english we say so he is blonde she is blonde so what is the meaning of this term blonde blonde is a golden haired person same we have in french but the pronunciation differs the word is blo blo in the feminine we have to say blonde il est blond elle est blonde il est blond elle est blonde the we have to pronounce the d because of the vowel e now move on to a very beautiful term in french that is chatta if you have to use this term in describing the person hair color that chatta uh, refers to the color which is exactly like chestnut you can see the image on the screen chestnut is a kind of a dry fruit which is like brown in color if you are talking about strictly the color which is like chestnut 
Then you will say, il est châtain et les châtaines. Okay? Il est châtain et les châtaines. Automatically, the word châtain is referring to the hair color which is exactly like the color of chestnut. Okay? And otherwise, if you have to use a number of other adjectives of colors like black, noir, brown, brown, generally we find the hair color in these in these colors only black brown if you see like blue color you can also use like in this way il a les cheveux noir ou bleu elle a les cheveux noir ou bleu or you can say brown why i am ending s in each adjective of color because I told you in the beginning that not only in terms of gender, in terms of number as well, all the adjective must correspond to the noun in terms of gender and number. So we are referring to the hair color that is plural, les chevaux. That's why we are using il, elle, a, les chevaux, noir, brun and bleu. Similarly, you can use for the eye color. So eye is les yeux. Lazy, which is eyes. So, how can you say um, she has blue eyes? L A lazy, blue. L A lazy, noir. She is having black eyes. So, il a il l a lazy, blue, noir, brown. So the so the adjective of color you can use according to the eye color. Generally in India. We find black or uh, light brown. Hardly we found uh, blue color. Hardly this blue color uh, is to be found in Western countries. So means uh, very like uh, common color. If we talk about eyes, is black or light brown. So il elle a les yeux noir, brun. Either you can use blur and so on. So like this, I can't add many more exam uh, many more adjectives and uh, and expressions are there. I can't use it in a single video. Otherwise, the video will be too lengthy because the vocabulary is endless. If you have to describe a person, you need ample number of vocabulary, ample number of adjectives. And if we talk about the vocabulary in a language, it it is quite endless. Okay, so if you need the second part of this video, do write to me in the comment section and how you rate this video. If you like this video, so please do share it with French language learners and do subscribe the channel as well. So hope to meet you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Au revoir.